Last weekend we went to visit my aunt and uncle. They live in the country. What a nice trip! Yes, it was great. My dad drove all the way. Didn't your mom drive? No. She was the co-pilot. She carried a map and kept telling my dad which way to go. It was a strange map. That's because that map is different from the ones we've seen at school. Remember our teacher told us something about this? This is a picture of the Earth as seen from space. Wow! It looks so beautiful, completely surrounded by clouds and plenty of water. Just clouds and water. No, we can also find dry parts on the Earth called... Oh, it doesn't matter, Jamie. They're the continents. If we could remove the clouds, the Earth would look almost like this world globe. Yes, but not everybody has got a world globe at home. Fortunately, there exist the maps. They show the same but drawn on paper. Look, for example, a photograph of all the world's continents. They look like this. Country borders have been drawn on the photograph. What are the borders, miss? They are lines that divide each country and show where a country starts and where it ends. This is a world map. It shows all the countries of the world on paper. The colors you see are used to identify each country. The map I'm showing you is a political map. Look, I've got some maps here. Shall we look at them? Yes, let's look at them. This is a political map of the world. There are dividing lines on this map. What are they? Those are lines that separate one country from another. A political map shows the boundaries between countries and provinces. The most important cities may be shown as well, such as the capitals. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!